hello guys so thank you for watching this I'm gonna do this one of unboxing about the realme x2 pro I haven't been doing unboxing for really quite some while well the reason is I guess well it's always not easy and I'm gonna do this one off one time so I'm not particularly excited but I've got uh, realme x2 pro from the store just now and I'm gonna do some unboxing but before that perhaps uh, I would want to tell who who actually need um, the uh, realme x pro 2 well I am buying it for the very reason of um, for the eyes there is a gimmick that this phone have a 90 hertz display. Um, yes, so it doesn't state here. Uh, this is the uh, yeah assembled in China. It has an AMOLED technology, Neptune Blue two SIMs of course, and uh, strictly from Malaysia. Um, so I'm gonna start the unboxing. How? Oh, that's my hand. Ooh, I think guess that's what not you all want to look at. So 90 hertz display. Oh, then then it has been slightly open, all right? So we're gonna look straight on the phone. Um, there you go. Tada! Oh, tada! Neptune Blue, all right? Um, at the store just now they have opened it. And now what I'm gonna do is um, re-look at the phone itself. I'm holding it one hand while I am doing this. So pretty typical China packaging uh, with the uh, 64 MB um, camera there. Pretty stylish. Placing in the middle. It reminds me of those um, some of the Xiaomi days right. so I mentioned that I'm not particularly happy right so because um, it's not even on it's off yeah so who is for the eyes as I mentioned if you care about the AMOLED and the 90 Hertz right so it's the AMOLED and the 90 Hertz um, this might be the new gimmick for phones maybe or uh, maybe not but um, I'm assuming that the AMOLED will actually help uh, preserve or maybe protect your eyes if you keep looking at it right um, yeah before I go into a detailed look um, start I'm gonna pump this thing on right and we can see from the video is that a uh, power by Android right I was choosing between the uh, Samsung Air 50s and uh, this guy struck me a little bit on the price um, at cost well you can see with it but we can still see the um, flicking if you know what I mean there is some flicking especially when it's low like there is some flicking and you can see lines update to the newest hardware um, you know it's funny when you open as the first machine and they ask for update so I'm not gonna do it um, I guess I'm gonna talk about the uh, breakdown components of this one uh, if we were to do a breakdown uh, I have this very breakdown myself well, couldn't get it can I get it focus breakdown That's funny. Uh, yep. Okay, breakdown of the cost, right? So, particularly we are interested. Like, um, I'm gonna do the screen. The screen 90 hertz, of course, from the Samsung, right? It's gonna cost us one thousand in my currency. That's about, um, I'll say. 250 or 250 USD right 
But by the way, the whole cost of this thing would cost me about about five hundred, right? And it's uh, six, twelve GB RAM and uh, with a two five six storage. When the screen is ninety hertz, that's I'll take that amount of credit because mainly I buy it for that. Maybe uh, sentimentally, I have. Um, put in a more variation on that, but uh, a screen 90 hertz, right? With uh, so high needs, that is it. And it comes with a 855 Plus Snapdragon. And uh, well, indeed, I'm not really a appreciating the um, the um, processor itself, but the SOC, the whole uh, chipset. A motherboard that support that that will probably cost it about hundred USD. Well, the price breakdown here is really optional and personal will. Uh, I guess you this the China phone manufacturer have to really order a lot in order to get in the doors. And I will give on the stereo, right? The stereo, uh, this day, uh, piezo electric, uh, piezo electric. Component is being used. Yes, piezo piezo erratic, right? That would easily cause uh, the the speaker of the stereo set would reach about I'll say fifty, right? Fifty USD, right? With that, uh, we have um, we have almost the eighty percent of the um, of the price figure out for this set well indeed the very reason I buy this is that I sell the uh, Xiaomi Xiaomi Max 2 right which has a uh, bulging issue I'm not sure why the phone is bulging I would guess it could be um, um, band screen yeah so I sell the whole set for about um, 250 in my currency that's about even a fraction of USD that will be like maybe 50 USD it's a user second hand but it's bulging so I sell it and then you know top up and this whole phone cost me about 500 um, USD well I guess that's enough of you know like my long talking um, and uh, we should see what we have here if we open right so pretty standard they don't give headset i suppose yes no headset but a huge power brick right um uh them making those from one of the china uh, plug right literally there is no um i'm not sure even about fuse but you know uh it's a super super v o o c I think buying the China phone, uh, you can't really avoid it. I mean, in, the price is very attractive, but you can see that the ground is actually um, a plastic and uh, the 5 ampere, 10 watt, 2 or 10 watt, um, made in China, safety sign. Um, if, it's, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, Singapore verified and... Uh, this set doesn't seem to appear in Singapore, and uh, you have a very reliable uh, USB-C cable, and that's it. Simple, simple packaging, not even the headpiece. Um, and um, opening the cover, yeah, I, I like it very much that uh, this phone comes with all this cover. This is my warranty straits. I guess we don't have to look at it. Uh, come with a come with the cover and uh, that's a good stuff uh, real me a simple booklet right I mean just that um, well <laughs> India version of course um, I know real me is being manufactured in India and uh, let's embrace a new journey well, so the, the device itself has called for me I'm gonna put in the cover, right? I mean, you gotta see the bumper. A lot of people is doing this bumper test. Um, cover on. Uh, surprisingly, uh, 
Realme, if you have should know, I mean, you should have known is about the, um, it's the uh, Oppo side, Oppo's, indeed, uh, there is an Oppo Ace that uh, spec close, so close with it. Um, yeah, a bit tough time in the feeding. Uh, I, I was trying to say that the, uh, the machine is, uh, I'm going to use two hands, uh, this machine is a bit, uh, uh, it's slim, slick, nice in design, but their case, uh, you know, not so, right, if you put it in there. Uh, the sales girl insists that there is no bumper, yes, yeah, there is a camera protector, right, I'm going to, if it's so expensive, I will buy some of those, um, screen protector for my camera as well uh, if needed but um, I guess it's true you, um, I uh, when I level my finger I can level like this I can hardly touch right? I can hardly touch the uh, camera in in most of the case it will protect it and it has a quite thick side of the plastic here and um, yeah see what they have called me uh, it's turned on Google Pro and yeah straight away you will see NFC so the fickling um, let's increase yeah as you increase some of the light uh, the light level and the flickering will go if in the low light right then uh, the flickering come back I guess the f flickering it's there flick flicker flickering it's there just the matter you um, notice it right so uh, this is pretty standard oppo right uh, it's just unlock and yep let's go i guess um everyone needs to know how to go to setting right? that's very much like oppo system i have used a chip and oppo and uh, yeah let's get a let's get a better angle for this Well, people who have not, uh, who have been using um, Oppo, right, um, maybe, you know, you are concerned about security as well. After all, uh, well, this China phone, um, I'm yet to set their signature, but, well, you see in the low light, the flickering is quite bad. So this suggests that, uh, you know, try not to leave it in the low light and in the setting itself i'm going to turn off the nfc let's see how clever is that i'm going to do the nfc i have nfc i don't have nfc anyway so when the next thing i'm going to do is the notch is there a notch right there is no notch um um and i have to go for this display it's funny that uh you know like uh full screen display um, uh, night shield maybe enable now you there's a bit warmer uh, let's see well you can slowly see the flickering line is screening if it's the low light but you know um, I buy it very much for the eyes so I'm gonna do it well, there's a screen okay and I'm still searching for the um, the uh, screen screen effect will increase when its function is on but the daily powers usage I don't know anyway I'm not gonna do that uh, screen refresh rate definitely 90 right this is the killer 60 90 right? I'm gonna do 90 um, a lot of them will support uh, well, full screen. Um, so display again. I uh, will allow the uh, screen temperature default. Uh -huh. So you know the uh, notch doesn't seems to to be able to disable like. I mean, I'm I'm looking really the display, the the full screen and all that. So I'm gonna try the full screen, full screen display. 
and uh, there is um, no not much of the anyway I guess uh, I'll go for it later but uh, interestingly I think what we want to see is the system uh, the about the phone so one thing great about all Oppo phone is there is already a layer of flame um, right I mean I would guess it's mostly it's uh, following the perhaps it's prepared with the factory 12 grid of RAM uh, 239 storage crazy right it's like a portable hard disk um, November security patch and uh, 855 plots snapdragon and let's go for the sound uh, there is no video um, not even the music so I'm going to listen to the ringtone ringtone right let's see the ringtone real me can I accept that first Well, I still like the Xiaomi uh, jazz version. That's how the sound. Yeah. Alert tone. Well, I'm gonna do the real jingle. leave it the silent afar. yes um, you know <laughs> long videos um, it's not everyone's flavor but I have said it like most of here um, well I guess the phone as great uh, pricing itself as a whole and uh, you can use it as it right uh, open box well the flicker is really concerning I don't know and uh, well it's uh, I would indeed uh, do um, I'm gonna enable smart movie no, so but I can already test the the uh, stereo so pretty much the rest will be uh, really on like uh, uh, the so-called um, very much the sound itself is very great uh, I'm gonna keep on using and testing this phone so one thing is um, I have turned on my share Real me share that uh, I think for the very reason why I choose this phone one very uh, important factor is that um, I'm gonna, it has Google pre install uh, well I have to mention this because uh, if when we have hype for the China phone sometimes uh it's it doesn't come with right light mode is on i'm gonna like it more than uh, not syncing uh the the reason i'm buying this is when i look at the gsm arena right there is this uh, phone uh 2019 phone by the guy as a closing i think we can look at this one um this guy, the Realme X2 Pro, it's in the flagship killer, flagship killer um, category. This is a spec, right? Uh, it's not particularly great in the uh, uh, camera department, but uh, it's it says significant significant saving, right? For USD, if you opt for Realme X2 Pro official in some Europe for the time being. I guess um, 
that's about 400 euros in my place uh, 450 euros to be exact and you're getting a full set of camera ultra wide uh, so 90 hertz and the whooping 30 minutes charging right so what's so what else is so great about this one is uh, I guess um, before 5G is coming uh, this is uh, high end uh, after half of the price of a big name um, well not particularly uh, in my place uh, Samsung S10 Plus if you were to um, hunting for one you can get it for about easily about 800 USD right so you're saving about 300 and uh, top spec flagship uh, flagship killer is a um, yeah but before I hang I guess uh, worth mention that if you really want this 90 Hertz with the AMOLED um, the choices right with a yes with a with a notch this kind of water drop the choices is usually um, easily close to 750 so you are saving about a few hundreds right so the the price here is USD um, going for 256 is 5529 five, so that's about 30 uh, 30 offset uh, I'm gonna do a change because the, uh, my acquisition price for this one is about 22 uh, it's 2250 uh, that's uh, USD USD no it's uh, MYR to USD so that's about 540 pretty fair price uh, that's uh, you know it's it's a pretty fair price and uh, well you have to bear with some of the ongoing notification uh, but those aren't willing to shell top dollar but still appreciate top tier performance that's how they uh, market it Right, the plus is uh, no IP rating, right? Uh, no wireless charging, no memory expansion. Uh, base version has a slower storage. So mine is a top tier version, a top class speaker. Uh, super fast charge and 90 hertz at the bargain. Yes, 90 hertz. Uh, I'm doing it for my eyes. Uh, I hope it's better. Uh, right, oh, it just force close. It just force close me. Seriously, <laughs> right? It's happening. It's happening. So, okay, that's cool. 22 minutes of video. That's a real huge one. Uh, almost the largest unbox I've done. So, yeah, thank you if you have really stayed until here. Uh, a bit of reputation, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, I'm basing a lot on the uh, the. Uh, GSM Arena, but this is almost seems like the 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 phone that I see for in a half star, and uh, the price is uh, well, I guess it's only reasonable to me during this Christmas season, right? And you have a little bit of the advertisement here. Take care, guys. Take care. Um, I'm gonna let you have a full look. The build itself, right, on the plastic not a choice but um, the I would say the edge you know that it's a good grip and holding phone right it's a nice one thanks thanks for watching